and welcome to Miss Mouse Makes. Hello to my lovely subscribers and hey if you're new to this channel why not subscribe? Loads of fun goes on here. Come and play every day. It'll be great. Okay so let's see what we're making today. We are making this little Christmassy gingerbread house with little gumdrops on there and a little heart on the door. So let's crack on and see what we need to do to make it. Right, so let's make our gingerbread house. So um, I've got two uh, brown house shapes. I've got a white roof shape, uh, a little brown door and a little white window. And the first thing I'm going to sew on is this uh, snowy roof. And just where I've pointed, we're just going to sew a fell stitch along that line. You don't need to go all the way round because you'll pick that up with the blanket stitch a bit later. But just this line where they meet in the middle, we've just got to do a fell stitch across there. You can see my thread's got a bit caught there. Sometimes that happens when you're using um, thread that's pretty long, but I, I hate changing my thread, so I always tend to use long thread, but you do get in a bit of a tangle sometimes, but I think it's a small price to pay personally. So here we go, there's my fell stitch. I'm just keeping my stitches nice and even. Okay, and now I'm going to sew on the little window. I've already cut the little holes in. I did that with a small pair of scissors. It's a bit fiddly, but um, you get there in the end. So I'm just sewing my window on and I'll do a fell stitch all the way around and in the little holes as well. Then I've got my door. I'm sewing this on with um, like a beige thread. I wanted a bit of a contrast for my door just to kind of make it a bit woody, really, more than anything. So I'm just doing a fell stitch around there. And then I've got a little heart button. It might smell a bit funny, um, but it'll be all right. With some red thread, um, there is a heart on the template. If you haven't got a, a heart-shaped button, there is a heart there that you can use and just use felt instead and do a felt stitch round. And now I'm sewing on my button, my buttons. I use white thread for all of these, and I think I used a continuous piece of thread or a couple of pieces of thread and just sewed them all on, so they look like gumdrops. Just tucking in. My work there now here i've got a bit of lace and i wanted this to kind of look like smoke coming out the little chimney i'm just tucking it in between my white bit and my brown bit there i'm just going to sew it on using a piece of white thread it doesn't matter what color you use here to be honest um because it's going to be on the inside and you're not going to see it so just using some straight stitches don't let need to be neat here just to hold that piece of ribbon or lace in place there we go. That should be enough. There we go. And chuck it under. Okay, now I'm going to bring my pieces together. And using a blanket stitch, I'm going to sew all the way around using white thread. I've used white thread just so it looks more like a gingerbread house and, you know, a bit more kind of icing on there, really. So just lining it up. That's kind of the trickiest piece. And then bringing my needle through. That's it. I start on a nice long straight bit, don't start like when you're near a curve because um, it's better to get going, the tension seems to be better on your thread if you've kind of got a nice long, whoops, long stretch, you know, straight stretch. So try always try and start where there's kind of a bit of a nice straight stretch. I wouldn't start on the top of the chimney for instance, it's just because you've got to go around a corner kind of instantly and the thread doesn't get a chance to get um, tension. So, making it look more fiddly than it actually is here. Now I've dropped the needle. Oh dear. I'm obviously having a moment where my hands didn't want to work. And that's it. But once you've got a few stitches in it's it's a lot easier. Um, it's also a bit tricky because I was sewing through three layers there. But there we go. There's our finished gingerbread house. I didn't stuff this one because I wanted it to look kind of flat and biscuit like. 